Hey y'all, what's going on? I pray that all is well with y'all on today. I pray that y'all weekend was wonderful, that you guys got a lot accomplished in spite of being quarantined. So, we are back for the second video in the Purpose series. Um, Today, like I told you guys before, I'm going to be looking off because I um have notes. But today, we are going to talk about... um. Who are you letting define your purpose? Just because you're good at it does not mean it's your purpose. Um, before I actually go into that, I want to review um, a few things from last video before we get into this one. I want to review with you guys what a purpose is and um, what your purpose should do. And then we'll go into today's topic. Um, like I said... Purpose is the reason for which something is done or created or for which something exists. Again, purpose is the reason for which something is done, created, or for which something exists. I'm going to say that again. Purpose is the reason for which something is done, created, or for which something exists. So, in other words... The reason why you were created, the reason why you exist, the reason why you are still here and God did not say it is finished with you is because you have a purpose that he needs you to fulfill. Okay? Again, for the last time, because, you know, repetition makes you remember. Purpose is the reason for which something is done, existed, created. The reason for which something is done, the reason for which something exists, and the reason for which something is created. The reason for which you were created. You have a purpose. You have a purpose. Okay? Now, the things that your purpose should do, your purpose should motivate you. Your purpose should push you to do things better, to do things different, to want to affect people in a different type of way your purpose should not be self-centered um when we when we live this thing called life the things that we do should not um be about us our purpose should not be self-centered um just making sure that we're okay and this that and the other and not worrying about anyone else your purpose should also make you remember your why why is this your purpose? Why am I doing this? And that also goes back to, again, the definition, um, which is why something is done. Your purpose is why are you doing it? Why are you doing this? What is your purpose? Okay? So, now, today's topic. Who are you letting define your purpose? And what are you letting define your purpose? Okay? Okay? Some things, something, some things that we let define our purpose, I'm going to give you um, a few things that God gave to me, and then I'll talk about them. Um, some things that we let define our purpose is other thoughts, preferably their yes or their no, your own thoughts, choosing something, <laughs> choosing something out of what you think will bring you success. I want to repeat those again. Some things that we let define our purpose is other thoughts, preferably their yes or their no, your own thoughts, and choosing something out of what you think will bring you success. Um, to go into number one, um, other thoughts, preferably their yes and their no. Um, we... <laughs> When we, when God pours something into us, we always do, um, we tend to share it with other people, um, to get confirmation, to get their yes or their no, to get that, yeah, that makes sense, or no, you shouldn't be doing that, but the thing about it is, God gave the purpose to you, not them, so rather... Um, a person agrees with your purpose or not um, should not define what you're 
what you're doing because a purpose a person's opinion of you is going to change daily but your purpose is your purpose regardless if um someone sees it or not um my bishop always says um that you can't share everything with everybody because they are dream killers which in turn kills your purpose so don't let others people's yes or no define if you're going to walk um in your purpose then your own thoughts we talk our own self out of our own purpose because we feel um we feel that we are not qualified we lean to our own understanding um but we also know that the Bible, Proverbs 3, verses 5 through 6, tells us not to lean to our own understanding, but in all ways, in all ways acknowledge him. So, like, when you have those thoughts of not feeling that this is your purpose or not feeling that you fully equipped, you have to take that back to God and let him lead you, let him guide you, let him pour into you what he already knew you would be. But you have to be willing to listen and tune out the fears. Um, also, choosing something out of what you think will bring you success. Choosing something out of what you think will bring you success. What I mean by that is this. Sometimes... We choose things because we see the success of everyone else doing those certain things. But the thing with that is, is that thing that you think will bring you success, is that your purpose? There's a difference between your purpose and a hobby. And we'll get into that. We'll get into that. Um, okay. And then also, there's sometimes um, we let being forced into things define our purpose. Again, that goes back to kind of what I said earlier. Just because you're good at it, um, just because you're good at it doesn't mean it's your purpose. Like with me, okay? When I when I uh started on my journey of you know discovering who I am and discovering my purpose for some of you that know that have followed me for a while know that I went to school for um early childhood education because I always um knew that I wanted to encourage people to um be who they are not let a limit stop them from doing something that they wanted to do. I've always known that was part of my purpose, part of my mission. But when I went um when I went through the schooling, the all of that, the student teaching and all of that, had so much fun, met some amazing people. But again, um I had this one teacher who just was like, I'm an endangerment to children because of my uh, cerebral palsy. So, that, and you know, and she failed me, and I, you know, and she was saying I wasn't going to be able to walk across the sta stage and um, receive my degree or anything like that. Like, that hurted me. So, in a way, that deterred me from my purpose, because I let others' thoughts, others' opinions um, force me into something, which I'll get into, force me into something that wasn't my purpose because, because, um, because I was turned down, because I was told a no. So my purpose got... I felt defeated within my purpose, even though knowing that this is what God called me to do. So once I went through that, I kind of started finding things to keep me busy 
to occupy my time because after that, no, I was hurt. So I'm like, I don't want to, you know, encourage anybody anymore. I don't want to be an endangerment to people anymore. So let me find something that will keep me busy and, and quote unquote, keep me out of other people's way. Um, so then I went to school for medical coding and billing. I like learning, so that was not a problem for me. I like doing paperwork and things like that. So that was not a problem for me, but... Medical coding and billing, I went to school for it as a hobby. It was something that I did to occupy my time, which kept me away from my purpose. That, in turn, goes to um, what I was saying. You have to know the difference between your purpose and your hobby. Again, I said I've always known that my purpose was to encourage people and to um, let them know, despite of their limitations or whatever, they can do whatever they need to do. Like, there's nothing that you can't do. Um, you just have to do it differently. That has always been a, my purpose, my passion. Um, but when you receive so many no's, you, you, you find a hobby to keep yourself busy you have to know the difference between a hobby and a purpose um if what you're doing right now as you're like listening to this watch this what you're doing right now that thing that you're doing right now if it does not fit into the definition of what a purpose is which again is the reason why something was created the reason why something is done, the reason why something exists. If what you're doing right now does not fit into purpose, that is not your purpose. That is a hobby. That is something you're doing just to keep yourself busy. Um, we have to stop doing things just to do them. We have to be strong enough to let God define our purpose and not other people's thoughts of us and what they think our purpose should be based on what they see in us we should we also need to learn how to um tune out the negative things that we speak over ourselves and lean to god for understanding and not on not our own again i want to say if what you're doing does not fit into the definition of purpose, it is your hobby. It is something you're doing just to occupy your time. And hobby, a hobby is something you could put down. A hobby does not hold you accountable. But when you're living, breathing, and walking in your purpose, your purpose is going to hold you accountable. If what you're doing right now is not holding you accountable, again, that is a hobby. Um, and like I said, your a hobby you can pick up and put down, a purpose you cannot pick up and put down. Um, you you have to, no matter um how much you run from it, your purpose is always gonna come back to you full force. Um, after me getting that no from the uh associate's degree with child care which I did end up getting my degree by the way after me getting that no um I just kept running from the purpose of what I was called to do but God kept putting things in my way in my face putting me in situations where I had nothing but to do but to um operate in my purpose um you can only run from your purpose for so long. You can't put your purpose down. Again, um, a hobby you can put down and pick back up. A hobby does not hold you accountable, but your purpose does. Um, the only person, because I said, 
who are you letting define your purpose? The only person that can define your purpose is God because he know why he created you. He know why he put you here for such a time as this. You just have to get in tune with you, get in tune with God and listen to what that he tells you your purpose is. He will place people and I sent this out as a quote this morning because he gave me this part this morning he will place people in your life to help you get to your purpose but don't let those people define your purpose again he will place people in your life to help you get to your purpose but don't let those people define your purpose so again what and who are you letting define your purpose? Stop letting other people's yes or no's define your purpose because that doesn't matter. Stop letting your negative thoughts, your feel of lack thereof, define your purpose. That doesn't matter. Stop doing things just to be doing something because you're, you're scared from what you heard other people think you should be doing which is causing you to do something else. Again, if what you're doing is not um, the reason why you were created, the reason why something is done, the reason why something exists, if what you're doing is not your purpose, it is a hobby. If what you're doing is something you're doing just to say, I'm doing this, that is a hobby, not your purpose. Um, you have to lean to your own, under not to your own understanding, sorry. And in all of your ways, acknowledge God. Let him define your purpose because he knows why he created you. He knows why he created you. Don't look for people to validate your purpose. Do not look for people to validate your purpose. Like I said, he will place people in your life to help you get to your purpose, but they should not define your purpose. And um, with that being said, that is the end of um this video but i want you guys to know that our scriptures for this whole video series is psalms 57 verse 2 and jeremiah 1 and 5 um and they say i will cry to god most high who accomplishes all things on my behalf for he completes my purpose in his plan for he completes, God completes your purpose in his plan. So again, that goes back to what I was saying. Who defines your purpose? God defines your purpose. Not other people's thoughts. Not your own thoughts. God defines your purpose. You just have to listen. Again, and then Jeremiah 1 and 5 says, Before I shaped you in the womb. I knew all about you before you saw the light of day. I had plans for you to profit a nation that what I had and that's what I had in mind for you. God knew what he was going to have you do before you even saw the light of day. Before your mama pushed and you was out, he already knew his plan for you he already knew how you were gonna come out he already knew that i was gonna be born with cerebral palsy and that eventually cerebral palsy would be my purpose and not a label so again don't let what others yes or no you to define your purpose don't let your own thoughts define your purpose don't let doing things just to be doing them define your purpose god is the only one who can define your purpose because again psalms 57 and 2 says for he completes my purpose in his plan God completes his purpose. Your purpose 
and his plan. God has a plan for you. You just have to tap into your purpose. You have to spend time with you. Get to know you. Get to know what God has placed you here from. That you cannot, that thing that is keeping you busy is not your purpose. I keep saying that because a lot of us do busy work just to keep us busy because we're fearful of operating in our purpose because why our purpose holds us accountable you guys until next video i pray that you guys are blessed i pray that you guys receive something from this um i'll be posting what the next topic will be when he gives it to me until next video y'all be blessed